What's up, everybody? I am back playing The Witcher 3, uh, continuing the main storyline because it's a roadblock right now to getting Witcher gear, so I'm trying to get up to level like 19 so I can do this quest. Um, what did this not? You get five XP. What's become of my home? It's safe now. I thank you. This means so much. And perchance did you find my chest? With my treasures? No. Could be someone stole it. Perhaps. So many years have passed. Yeah, I didn't really get it. But go back and search Fuck. carefully. I've naught else to offer you. I'll do that. Time I was on my way. Gods guide you. God damn it. Good day. The sound was uh which the video to the left. And that one hard banged a lass to the bloody Great day. The lens falling out of my glasses because my glasses are stuff. broken. And uh I'm too lazy to Farewell. To get new ones. From? So I, my, I guess my solution is to just go blind, since I need to upgrade my prescription. Um, where was the House of Reardon? God, I, I couldn't possibly tell you. And in sight, no, Reardon Manor. Here it is. What's she doing here? I mean, she lives here, but still. I guess she returned to her house since I disarmed all the traps and everything. Can you open these doors here? Old woman's brother. Must be. Like twins, old woman's brother must be.
here in a long time. Looks like it was put up later than the others. Skeleton in the closet. Happens in the best families. A man. In his 30s, 40s maybe. A couple of pages missing. Torn out. is missing from the journal. And thus I die in darkness of hunger and thirst. Gods have mercy.
For what you did, I must thank you again. I promised you a reward. Do you remember? It remains in the barn, in the chest. Got some hard news too, though. Found your brother's corpse bricked up in a wall. And this. So? Roderick? My husband? He killed him? Gods! Sorry. The truth can be cruel, but... Uh, one can't turn back time. I must find this spot. I must bid Humbert farewell.
Somebody lived here once. Dolores. Sort of blasted fender. A beauty? What the devil do you mean? The great mare. A horse fiend. Folk done went mad. Lunged at each other. Murdering all neighbors or young'uns. It's the spirit of the forest, taking revenge on those who sought its demise, driving them mad. Geralt! Good you've arrived. I've trouble drawing any sense from their canty. Should give him a taste of the whip to bring him in line, cause M my lord, tis what they they said too about the mayor, meaning that is the forest's dark ghost. Who claimed so? The the w w w witch hunters passed through just now. Yeah, for my the bad. <laughs> village in the swamp. S -s -s Some lass with. Leading him, asking after our mother. That was me. Lass, we must go there at once, Geralt. Agreed. I'll gather my men. Fall in with the swamp to cross and our cursed crowns to hunt down. Plowing swamp. Pox ridden air promotes brain rot in the peasants. Crowns. Fuck me. What will these hay seeds think of next? The crones exist. You'll know that soon enough. <laughs> right. More likely some mad old wenches making mincemeat of peasant minds. Likely Anna agreed to stay with them. Care for them out of the kindness of her heart. Good as gold, that one. Always. See not many all at once in a while. We shouldn't have come here. Got no business traipsing about. Managed the one time, but who the hell knows what we'll find deeper in? That fear talking? Through you? Brawny bird? Who? Me? Fear? Not on your life. All right, boys, let's move on. At pace, show these horrors who's in charge. Get this devil's 
Where's a horror like that come from? A wench that's had too much hooch turns into that. So next time you think to give a woman booze, don't. Better off drinking it down yourself. Change your mind. How much did my father pay you? Don't think you have anything to fear. Brought your new friends with you. I have no fear, for the eternal fire protects me. Hmm. <laughs> Won't need to protect you from me. Tamara, dear daughter, you return after all. Come, don't deny me this embrace. Stay away from me. I've come for mother. Unlike you, I'll not see her rot in this swamp. Why the hell do you think I'm here? To take her home? Oh, you'll do no such thing. You'll not lay a finger on her. Never. I'll not let you. You've a right to be cross. I was not the best husband, the best father, I know. But I've changed. Ask anyone. Geralt, come, tell her. Your father, he wants to find his wife, your mother. Really. He pay you much to be his yes-man. Verily I say unto you that ire and vehemence can lead to naught but one's downfall. Who the bloody hell is this? And who are you to ask so crudely? This is my commander. And that should be of no concern to a drunken swine. Tomorrow, you stand with their kind now. Perhaps you'd have them torture and hang your own father. You're not my father. And I care not a bit what befalls you. <clears throat> I remind you we've a matter to resolve here. Witcher, will you help us? Wouldn't be here if I wasn't willing. I've lost five men and have little notion of what else to expect in this cursed place. No time to lose. Crones could return any minute. Ha! Huh. How do you know they're not here already? Because we're still alive. Search the village!
What was that? Wolves? That didn't sound like wolves. Because it wasn't. Get ready. Show me what you got. I remember the fiends being red, unless that's just a different one. Look to fiends to me. Crones have sensed us, and they know we're close. Sent the beast for Anna. Those damned witches! When will it end? Look what they've done to her. Are they not satisfied? Just look at her. Witcher, you know of these things. You must. What, what's wrong with her? Last I was here, she was nothing like this. Crones must have cursed her. Can you lift this curse? Not till I know what it is. She can't have lived here alone. Perhaps there's someone else. 
Someone who saw something. Maybe Johnny. Who? Uh, a boy, a hermit. Lives in the swamp. Came around here from time to time. He might have seen something. We must find him. Doesn't like strangers. You wait here. I'm better off going alone. Leave me be. White one? What are you looking at? White one? Your nerve. Johnny. Johnny. Not here. Something's not right. Gotta look around. Might be hiding nearby. Fresh footprints. Johnny ran through here. Fleeing something. Johnny, wake up. What? Who? Oh, Witcher! You frightened me. Thought it were those vile hags. Killed a few near your den. The crone sent them to punish me. Get on the crone's bad side? I told them off. They don't like it when you tell them off. Why'd you do it? Wanted to help Gran. She's always been good to the children. Who would have been the doldrums out here without him? She'd have died of boredom. Begged the crones not to hurt Gran, but they were angry she'd let the children escape. So you saw what happened to Gran? By happenstance, Gran mixed some poppy seed and ash. Went by to help her sort it out. Mother Nature gave me small hands, see? So I can do it easy like. Working away we was, separating seeds from dust. Out of nowhere, Gran cried out. The mark on her hand started glowing. She yelled at me to hide. I crawled into a chest. Barely had time to blink before the crones tottered in. The weavess snipped a lock of Gran's hair. 
called it punishment for letting the children escape. Then the hags opened the door in the floor. Went down, down, down. Shame it weren't all the way to hell. Stay in the chest until the crones left? Wanted to. Sit tight and quiet, said to myself. Not a peep out your beat till they go. But then Gran fell to the floor, started screaming and tearing her hair out. Didn't know what to do. So I leapt out of the chest, thought herbs might help her. The ones she cured the children's aches with. But Gran was no longer herself. She was a beast. So, you give her the herbs? Couldn't manage it. The crones came back. I dropped to my knees and begged them to spare Gran. Bruess piped up first. Naughty boy. Oh, naughty. Shouldn't say no when the sisters want to hear yes. Then the Wispeth says, Run, boy, run before your legs rot off. They all laughed, and I legged it. You escaped. Consider yourself lucky. I do, but I've not lost the ladies for long. If I'm to live, I must hide, and I can forget my cozy hole. It's the first place they'll look if they set out to nab me. Try deeper in the swamp, maybe? <sighs> I suppose I must. And what will you do? There's something in that cellar. The key to finding out what happened to Gran, I think. Will you help her? Provided it's not too late. Thanks, Johnny. And good luck to you. Likewise. And if you happen on any water hags, give them a nice fat walloping on me behalf. Farewell, Witcher. Did you learn anything? Just as I thought. The crow probably cursed your mother. Took a lock of her hair, then disappeared down the stairs. Cellar under the house. Cellar door is hidden. In that case, we've no time to lose. Come. Let me go in first. Give you a shout if I find anything interesting. So be it. Let's begin. By the eternal fire. I've never seen so many before. Looks unsavory. What is all this? The trappings of a black magic ritual. Witches weave human hair through dolls they first curse. They gain a grasp on individual souls this way. Think one of the dolls represents Anna? Can we free her if we find it? It's the only way I know of. But there are risks involved. The items woven into the dolls, see them? They symbolize the individuals the dolls are meant to represent. We must find the doll that is Anna and take it from here. Seem to know a lot about this. From tomes on black magic. Initially, we burned any that we found. Recently, we decided it might be wise to read them first. Poisoning your minds with magic? <laughs> Superstition? What's the hierarch think of that? Have you met the man? No. Neither have I. This risk you mentioned, 
Take it we only get one shot at choosing the right doll. I'll not chance it. I did not know, Anna. You've learned much of her. Should find it easier to choose. All right. Let's take a look at these dolls. Hmm. Red bead attached to this one. Anna wears a string of those around her neck. As do half the women from Novigrad to Vengerberg, this cannot be the one. Uh, all right. I'll look at the others. Human ear attached to this one. Belong to one of the peasants, doubtless. Anna still has both her ears. Let's look at the others. Hmm. Bird feathers woven into this one. If I had to bet on it, I'd say this doll represented Philippa. Philippa Eilhart, if that's true, then... Relax. First name that came to mind, that's all. Philippa's way too clever for the crones to have snared her in some trap. Besides, we're not here for Philippa. We're here to save Anna. And I can't think of any link between her and bird feathers. Well, that might seem obvious. But what if it's a ruse, and this doll, in fact, symbolizes Anna? Doubtful. Crones would have no reason to employ trickery here. Should look at the others. Hmm. This is interesting. A doll with a flower? What's so interesting in that? Not just any flower. A violet hollyhock. Baron once told me it was Anna's favorite flower. Hmm. You believe this to be the doll? I'm sure it is. Taking it. Quick, outside! Mom, you're back. All will be well. You're going to be fine. Tammy, I'm dying. She's not well, raving, doesn't rightly know what's happening. You're weak yet. You must rest. No. Listen to me. The crones. I was to be their beast to the end forever. You broke their spell. But now I must go. What's she talking about, Witcher? Nothing we can do to help her. But we... No! That's impossible! Dear daughter... Philip, it's... good... to see you together. I'm sorry, Annie. For everything. I'm sorry. Mother. Tammy. Do you remember that day on the inner? Of course. Those plums are so sweet. In your dress, oh blue. You wove me a wreath of flowers. <laughs> we laughed the day away. Please. Remember me like that. I thank you. They had a chance to say goodbye. It was your doing. Shame I couldn't do more. Come, child. The eternal fire will soothe your pain. Leave me be. Your pay will await you at Crow Perch. Collect it there. None of this was your doing. I know. Which makes it no easier to bet. Leave me alone! 
had enough of this job. The music in this entire section, uh, the way it's flying through the headphones is really cool. Like the whole time it's it sounded like it's in the background. Um, that doesn't necessarily make sense unless you're wearing headphones. Say what? Oh, they tricked me. There was a there's a bundle on sale right now uh, of games that I already own. Last charge. Where's the coin? Right, so I'm for sadness. Sort of. Right, not really. Give me the coin. Tails, we clean the shit out of the stable. Heads, we don't get out. One shot. So this happened. What the hell happened? Hanged himself. Plain enough to see. Himself? Or did you boys help him? Fuck do you take me for? A murderer? He was what he was. A right bastard. But I respected him. If I'm to choose between a greater and lesser evil, I'd rather not choose at all. Usually, though, the stakes are just too damn high. Didn't he say that in, like, the first evil, episode of the good, Netflix show? Albeit in a small way, when I chose to save the orphans of the swamp, I couldn't know Anna would die. And I never thought the Baron would leave his wife where she lay, find a rope, and hang himself. Most times, you make your choice, and never look back. Lost everything he cared for. No surprise he lost the will to live. Don't look too concerned, you and your boys. What would you have us do? Sit and wail? Baron was a good soldier, but settling in here at Crow's Perch, it made him soft. We'll introduce a new order. Things will be different now. I imagine they will. How may I assist you? Wouldn't mind a look at your stuff.
So long. How can I help you? What are you selling? What's good? Take care now. It's clearing up. Help me in. Wouldn't mind a look at your stuff. Oh, that's the new, uh, the new fast travel point. <laughs> 